Hello, welcome back to Suburban Hunt 365. I am DJ. We are back in the reloading room again today. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our uh, shotgun slug series here on this channel. In the previous videos, you've seen us. If you haven't, please check it link above. But you saw us do the Remington sluggers versus the managed recoil sluggers. And then on the last video, we actually ran through the Remington sluggers across the five different uh, shotgun chokes that we have. So today we're going to be doing something very similar to that. Today we're running the Winchester Super X. Again, we're going to be using a 12 gauge Remington 870. Uh, these are two and three quarters with a one ounce slug. Uh, these are rated for 1600 feet per second. Uh, don't be surprised if they're a little bit slower. Same thing as the previous sluggers. They were rated at 1560, I believe, and they were lower than that. So, but what we're really looking for today is uh, what kind of deviations do we get out of the different shot and what our groups look like. Because I told you, I, I'll say it again, uh, if you can't put the round accurately down range, expansion and all that doesn't much matter. So, but it's not an issue with these sluggers. Most of the time they put a one inch hole in and a one inch hole out and it is massive damage on the way through. So again, we are gonna be using the Remington 870. This is a super mag. Uh, it is a 27 and a half inch barrel. But again, we're gonna be using the two and three quarter shells. But that's what we've been using. That's what we're gonna continue using on this. Uh, so let's start out. So again, we are gonna be running through of the five different chokes. And just to go over those real quick with you, we are gonna be starting out with the Skeet, which is a 0.725 followed by the improved cylinder, which is a 0 0.720. Then we have a full at, uh, actually we have the modified. We're gonna be using the modified, which is actually in the gun now. The modified is at 0 0.702. The full is at a 0 0.700. And the extra full is at a 0 0.690. So those are gonna be the chokes that we use during this test. So let's go ahead and let's get started with the skeet, which is 0.725. All right, so this time we're starting off with one of those, what I call a cherry picker groups, because three of those are nice, round in the middle, but then you got those couple pliers there on either side. So all in all, this group came in at five and one quarter of an inch. So not really awesome, especially at 50 yards, right? That's the problem that most people have with these shotguns is that they just don't seem to hold much of a tight pattern. In the last video that we did, uh, the improved cylinder and the modified came in pretty good at a three and one quarter inch group. Uh, but we're starting off today with a five and quarter. So last video that we did, the Skeet was a wider group. So let's see if we get any uh, improvement moving into the improved cylinder, uh, and that is a 0 0.720. All right, so improved cylinder kind of giving us that same tight three cherry picker group like we were talking about a minute ago. Well, I actually like this group better than the uh, Skeet group because Skeet is kind of one, two, three in a line, whereas this one's more of a rounder group. Uh, but those two outliers, they swung out quite a bit more. This total group coming in at seven and a quarter inch. Obviously you take the two outermost points and you measure between those and that gives you your group. And this one is seven and a quarter inches. So not too awesome with that uh, out of the improved cylinder. Now, Remington actually says that they, they advertise on there is that the improved cylinder is the better one to use. And I've not seen any point on the boxes where Winchester advertises saying any particular joke over another. So uh, that is what it is. Now, let's go ahead and let's get into the modified and see if we can't tighten that group back up a little bit. Modified is a .702, which was the Remington choke that came with the actual shotgun. Uh, Ouch. Well, that one didn't have any kind of cherry pick group in it. Those shots seem to be kind of all over the place. 
Uh, kind of ironic when we're talking about a shotgun, you know, you normally compare it to a shotgun pattern, but this is an actual shotgun, not, right? Uh, so anyway, we got this group, even though it's kind of crazy, it does come in tighter at a five and three quarter of an inch group. Now again, this is at 50 yards, guys. This is not awesome by any means. So right now, between the three chokes, skeet, and pro cylinder, the modified, we're still rocking a best group of five and a quarter inch group at 50 yards. Um, not, not, not doing so awesome there. So let's go ahead and let's push into the full and see what the full choke does. The full choke is coming in at 0 0.700. So the full choke actually doing a little bit better than what we saw earlier. Uh, this group comes in at four and three eighths of an inch. So, so far that's the tightest group we've had today. Now, that is actually one of the bigger groups that we had out of the Remington Sluggers. Uh, I'll put that up here real quick. Last uh, video that we did, you had three and one quarter, three and three quarters, four and three eighths, and then seven, or, and then seven at the end there. So. That, that's kind of one of the bigger groups on the sluggers and now this is actually one of the smallest on the Winchesters. So right now the Winchester's really not stacking up all that great in my shotgun against the Remington sluggers. Uh, but we do have one more left so let's go ahead and let's see what the extra full does. Extra full size is a .690. That's an interesting group. What do you do with that? Uh, I almost want to put one more round down range to see if I get two completely separate three round groups out of this. Uh, the, the bottom group looks pretty decent, but again, we're going over the overall group. The overall group comes in at seven inches. Uh, one of the worst today so far. Uh, well, today, this is the last choke that we have. So seven inches, uh, that's, that's not gonna cut. That's not gonna cut it at all. Uh, and again, guys, that's at 50 yards. It's at 50 yards. So let's go ahead and let's dig into the numbers. And while our groups don't look good, let's see what we kind of dig into these numbers. So looking at this chart here, you see that the average feet per second is pretty close to the same across all the chokes. You have 1540 with the ski, improved cylinder is at 1542. Modified is the same thing at 1542. The full at 15.49, and then the extra full, you kind of a little bit more pressure in there, I would assume, and that gives you a 15.65. Now, none of those come to the 1600 that is advertised on the box, but we kind of expected that. So looking over here at the standard deviations, that is one thing that the standard deviations shine quite a bit more with the Winchesters than it did with the Remington Sluggers. Down here with the Winchesters, you got 19.23, 11.29, 14.24, 12.73, and an 8.59, which is, is crazy uh, as far as the, the rounds being the same speed, but that also gave us one of the worst groups. So just because our feet per second are the same, as we talk about in our muzzleloader series, uh, just because they're closer to the same doesn't mean that the harmonics of that gun or that shotgun in this case are right for that projectile, evidenced by a seven inch group. Uh, as a matter of fact, when you look at it, the 12.73 that's on the full was the tightest group. So we got half again the standard deviation, but we've got not quite half the group. So Overall and all, uh, it, the standard deviation is pretty pretty outstanding compared to the R Remington's. But out of my shotgun, the Winchesters did not perform on accuracy enough to overtake the Remington Sluggers. So again, this is out of mine. Now, we, yours may shoot, so if you go and your Winchesters shoot better out of your shotgun across the different chokes, uh, then there's a good chance they're really going to continue doing so because their standard deviation is better than what Remington was putting out there from my test. So what do you take from this? 
basically, I'm going to stick with my Remington Sluggers right now and as they are the most accurate. And again, the most accurate being three and one quarters of an inch at 50 yards. So we kind of have to take what we're shooting into context uh, as far as what the limitations are. So if you guys stuck with us this far, guys, I really do appreciate you sticking around. Uh, do us a huge favor, as always, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Those comments down below, let me know what you think about what we've done, what you've seen. Uh, let me know what you want to see. I love doing that, guys. I keep a track, a list of everything. When you guys comment, I put a list on there, and I make sure to start ordering the stuff that I can to go ahead and get those tests done for you because I want to make sure that I get the information out there, that we get the information out there for you. So, again, from Suburban Hunt 365, I'm DJ. We'll catch you guys on the next one.